Hey guys, this is Ron. So this is a real quick video on uh, wildcard masks. So wildcard masks are basically the opposite of the net mask. All right, the net mask identifies those bits that are uh, are part of the network. Uh, the net, the wildcard mask kind of selects just which bits are part of the user or the host address. All right, so they are used in a couple different places. Uh, if you're building uh, your EIGRP setup when you enter your network statements you can specify a wildcard mask and it better selects uh, which uh, which network you're actually talking about or which users you're actually talking about uh, you can also enter it for OSPF uh, you sh really should be entering it with those uh, kinds of things um, but also you're going to need it if you're going to build access lists and access lists are are for more than just denying traffic it's it's for selecting specific traffic and things of that sort so let's get into it uh, again if I put in an address like 192 let me make sure I'm typing in here 192 168 uh, 100 100 we're gonna give this guy a mask of 255.255.255.224 so if you've watched my subnetting video, you should be able to look at the 224 address and know that this is a block size of 32. And if you know it's a block size of 32, you can subtract one, and that's that's what you're going to use down here. If you don't want to go through that step, you can just take 255 minus this uh, octet, and you'll get the same address, or you'll get the same number. So here, 255, 255 is 0, 255, 255 is 0. And so here we're just, it's basically, I've heard it called, you, you want to know which ones are the interesting bits. Here we're selecting all those user bits. So 00031 selects you know, those interesting bits. Right? Uh, again, block size of 32. So we have to make sure that this is a multiple of 32. So it becomes 96. So what we would actually enter in our uh, EIGRP network statement or OSPF network statement or in our access list will be 192.168.196 with the 00031 behind it. All right. Let's try a 172.16.100.100. Uh, 100. 100 is fine. We'll go 255, 255, uh, 240. Zero. All right. So again, we have a block size of 16 here because this is 256 minus 240. One minus that is 15. Or you could go 255 minus zero. You end up with 255 down here. All right. So we become 0, 0, 15, 255. We'll select those interesting bits, which are the host bits. We need to make sure this is a block size of 16. So we bring it down, 96. Here this is 256. So this is basically going to be the whole octet. So this goes to 0. So 172.16.96.0 with the 0, 0, 00.15.255 behind it. Basically you're doing the same thing every time. 255 minus 255, 0. 255, 255, 0. 255 minus 240, 15. 255 minus 0, 255. Alright. And then when you're figuring out your network number just make sure you're using multiples of the uh, actual block size and uh, that's pretty much it so again uh, wildcard masks are pretty easy to do you can pretty much do them in your head uh, as long as you're following the right steps 255 minus the mask and and you're good to go and then just make sure you're entering the IP uh, this portion of it with in reference to the actual block size. So you need to understand how to figure out block size, which isn't hard. 256 minus this will give you the block size. And 255 minus that is going to give you, you know, the wildcard mass. So really not too hard. Hope you learned something. Hope it was useful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.